which you need to do today is set up PostgreSQL. Now, why set up PostgreSQL? Uh, we could easily have set up a common PostgreSQL for all of you. But the idea is that in December, at your centers, you will be running this course. So, at that point, you will have to set up PostgreSQL. Now, you don't have to do this recursively in the sense that the participants in the December course don't have to set necessarily set up PostgreSQL. Although, that is probably still a good idea because they are also teachers and they have to do it for their students. Okay? So, it, uh, whatever we are doing today, you should see how to replicate it in your center if possible. But there may be resource limitations. It may be that you cannot actually give each one their own netbook and set up a PostgreSQL. In which case, you set up a common PostgreSQL and let them do their exercises on that. And the instructions on how to set up PostgreSQL are provided anyway, which they can go back and do. But today, we just want to make sure that you are familiar with this. So, the first part is setting it up. Uh, and then, you have to create users in the database. So, that is the, uh, before setting up users, even there is some initial configuration, uh, initializing a, a standard a database, then creating users, and then running queries. Uh, oh, there is one more step in there on creating a uh, administrator password. So, all of those steps you can go through, they are there in that sheet. So, once you have set up PostgreSQL with a user, you can now connect to PostgreSQL as that user and run queries. You could connect as administrator also as the Postgres login, uh, but you are better off connecting as the user and then running the remaining things. So, how do you connect to the database? Um, you could write a Java program and use JDBC but we do not want to do that. Uh, instead, there are two interfaces. One is a command line interface called PSQL. You could use that if you wish, uh, but again there is some syntax and some details which you have to deal with if you are using that. So, it is a lot easier to use this graphical interface called pgadmin3. So, uh, one of the steps you will be doing today is setting up pgadmin also and then using that uh, so, you have to tell it which database to connect to um, and uh, what is the login password. All that is part of a uh, setting up a connection on from pgadmin. pgadmin internally uses ODBC to talk to the database uh, and now you can type in a query. It executes the query. It gets the results back using the metadata features which we talked about it figures what are the column names, what are the types and it displays the result for you. So, the later part of today's lab is actually running SQL queries. So, there are several problems which are specified in English all using the uh, university database. Uh, so, where you have to run queries and get the result. Now, how do you make sure your query is running and getting something which looks reasonable? We need a data set also. So, we have also provided a data set for the university database. We have provided two things, two files. One is a file which creates all the relations in the university database schema. The second is a file which inserts uh, sample data into those files, uh, into those relations. So, the first step is to, once you are connected as a user, is to create the relations, load the sample data. Then you can start writing the SQL queries which we have specified. You can execute them and see if they look reasonable. Now, all the sample data actually corresponds, uh, the slide which you have has some of that data as example data in the book. It is there in the book also. Uh, this sample data file which you have provided has exactly the same data. Now, when you are writing the SQL queries, you need to know what is the schema. Now, uh, for that, in your uh, slides, um, go to chapter 2 of the slides and towards the end of that chapter, there is a schema diagram which shows all the relations and the foreign keys and the primary keys. Okay, so, all these machines uh, run Ubuntu. So, how many of you have used Ubuntu before? How many of you have not used Ubuntu or any other? How many of you have not used any version of Linux? Okay. So, on Ubuntu, there is a package manager 
uh, which lets you install things very easily. Um, there are uh, the package manager has to be set up, which has already been done. So, it has been set up to get new packages, which are on demand from a machine called ftp.iitb.ac.in. So, when you run this particular command, sudo, that is do as super user, because this is an, uh, this uh, subsequent command requires administrator privileges. Therefore, you have to run this as sudo. And then apt get is the package installer, and you are telling it to install PostgreSQL. Now, it will ask you for a password. I think the default password on all these machines is 123. That is what you have to type at once it asks you for a password. And it is going to go to connect to ftp.iitb, download all the PostgreSQL files, and then it is going to set up PostgreSQL. So, Please run this from run this command from a terminal on your netbook. Your first step is just to do this. How many of you have successfully completed this step, installing PostgreSQL? All of you. Anyone who is not? One or two. Okay. Please take help from Ari. Okay, so now to configure it, you have to um, look for the file pghpa.conf. If you can find it, okay. Now this, by the way, is a very um, I think this is a very uh, trusting way of doing things. So, what is this doing? Uh, yes, you will not have permission to do an sudo and then gedit. So, all of this may have to be run as super user. So, sudo space uh, gedit space and then pghpa.com. That should work. Now, add um, this line at the end, host, uh, all, all. Now, what this is saying is 10.0.0.0 slash 8 says that any host, uh, any IP which starts with 10 dot anything be beyond that, accept connections from those. In IIT, all the local, uh, in our intranet, all the machines start with 10 dot. So, in other words, you are accepting um, connections from any of them. Uh, let me write it here. G edit. Um, yeah, so the trust means it just trusts blindly. Uh, I think it's that's not such a good idea. I think uh, the better option is uh, password or MD5. Yeah, MD5 is the safe thing. So what I suggest is over here instead of trust, replace trust by uh, MD5 is safe. Ident will work for local users. So, what Ident does is uh, it is actually talking to the operating system to identify you. So, if you are running as a particular user, the operating system can basically uh, authenticate you instead of using a login password. That does not work across machines. Um, Ident can be made to run across machines, but you have to trust the other machine. To be telling the truth. Therefore, yes, that is right. It requires the same OS and database user. And if you are connecting from another machine, you have to trust that machine to be telling the truth. Okay, so now uh, those of you who are using the printout to do stuff, 
Apparently, the indentation is messed up in this printout. Therefore, some of the instructions which are meant only for source installation, some of you are trying to do it because you thought it's part of it. Uh, so, what I suggest is don't read this. Connect to Moodle. I assume all of you are able to connect to www.itiitbakin slash Moodle. It's there on the top of the bar, but in case you can't read it. Yeah, it's a private IP address. Yeah, um, you can replace it by whatever other IP range in your place. No, those are the two private IP ranges. 192 is a smaller range. 10 is a full class B range. So replace it by whatever you use. Actually, 192, if you use that, you are supposed to use 192.168.0.0 slash 16. That is the correct uh, prefix, if you are using that range. So, I, for those of you who did not uh, hear that question, over here 10.00 is okay. When you go back to your institute, if your local IP address is in 10 dot range, you can use this. If your local IP addresses are in 192 range, please use this instead, 192.168.0.0 slash 16. Okay, uh, just listen up, take a short break from whatever you are doing. Uh, so there are two files to edit, one is hpghpa.com, which I just discussed, except instead of trust, I suggest you use md5. The second is postgresql.conf, which is also in the same directory. Edit that file and there is a line which says listen address equal to localhost. You have to go and modify that line to say listen address equal to star and it is normally has a hash at the beginning to comment it out. Remove the hash, so there is no hash and localhost has become star. and replace localhost by star. Now, what is that doing? Um, when you say localhost, it only accepts connections from the local machine. There are two parts to the security. One is pghpa, one is postgresql.com. So, you have to modify both of them to accept connections from other machines. So, actually you do not need to do it because each of you is running postgresql on your own machine. But the reason we are doing this is because Eventually, you may need to allow people from many different machines access to a shared process. So, you need to do this for that. Mm. To restart PostgreSQL, um, there is a pgctl uh, restart. If you go to Okay, if anybody has uh, trouble locating the file pg underscore hba.conf, do the following cd slash etc postgresql 8.4 main and pghpa.conf should be there. And the last step which is restart postgresql, uh, let me just get the path and put it up. Okay. Um, Anyway, uh, here is a slightly updated instruction for restarting PostgreSQL. You can do sudo etc initd postgresql 8.4 restart. So, you can use this command at the bottom here. So, if you have it in your Moodle, just reload the page, it will show you the updated one.
Okay, how many of you have successfully completed all the instructions on this page? Okay, if you are done with those who are done with this, can move on to the uh, next page. Uh, where is that? Okay, installing PostgreSQL. The next one is administering PostgreSQL and creating users. So go in there and follow those instructions. How to restart PostgreSQL? Uh, the instructions have just been added at the bottom of this here. Su do sudo etc init d PostgreSQL dot four restart. So please use Moodle for all instructions. We are updating it with any missing instructions. Um, Bombay, IIT Bombay runs in the 10 dot segment. So all machines inside IIT Bombay have a 10 dot something address. What this is saying is any machine in IIT Bombay can connect to this. You can restrict it. You can say only these two machines. Means uh, the first, no, no, the first eight bits have to match exactly, which is 10. The remaining uh, 24 bits can be anything. So again, uh, let me repeat, the printouts which you have are confusing because there is no indentation. Please do not read them. Please go to the Moodle page and read the instructions from Moodle. Do not read the today's printout. Tomorrow's printout will be done properly, but today's there was a glitch. PG underscore HP. Tab should do it. Yeah. It will be read. Uh, no, they do a sudo. Cancel. SUDO, then the same thing. So, again, for those of you who have finished the first step installation, the second step is configuration. If you go to the Moodle page, um, the next uh, step in there is configuration. So, let me show it to you. So, after installation, administering PostgreSQL and creating users. How many of you have um, finished installation? Okay, if anyone is having trouble, please raise your hands now and get help. If you are having trouble with installation, please raise your hand. After this, go on to administering PostgreSQL. How many of you have finished this step? Quite a few of you. Good. Um, so, this requires you to create users. Once you have done this, um, you can uh, set up PG admin in 3 and connect up from there using the instructions here, using PG admin 3. Okay? So, please follow those steps. And when you are done with all of this, you can actually start on the SQL uh, assignment for today. Uh, you have to install it. Uh, so, just like you installed uh, PostgreSQL, type uh, install pg admin 3, the same command. Yeah. So, do apt dash get install. Okay, for those of you who are having uh, trouble installing stuff, this version of Ubuntu has a software center which simplifies your life quite a bit. Uh, this is Windows, I can't show it here, but on your Ubuntu machines, um, if you have used that feature, you can use it for installation. You can use Synaptic, you can use whatever you want. Uh, apt get is also fine. Whichever thing you are comfortable with, use it to install PG admin 3. Hmm? So, you are connected up? Uh, yeah, now you have to connect. So the instructions are there. Um, on the Moodle page. Uh, listen up, many of you are facing problems with connection getting dropped. If you unplug the cable and replug it, it seems to unplug, wait uh, maybe 10 seconds, then replug. I don't know why it is dropping the connection, but this restores it.
Okay, uh, people, please listen up. If you succeeded in connecting to uh, and starting PG admin, there is a problem that PG admin's uh, menu for uh, adding a server goes beyond the bottom of the screen. There is a fix to it, workaround, which is to do the following. Uh, once you open PG admin 3, go to file, the file menu. Inside that, there is options. Click on options. Once you get options, there is a preferences tab. Click on the preferences tab. There is a font. Go to the font and uh, choose font size 9 instead of 10. After that, it fits in the window. There is no problem. Okay, so for those of you who are not paying attention, please listen. This is important. PG admin 3. Once you start PG admin 3, there is an add server option. That window is too big for this small netbook. So these instructions here tell you how to reduce the font size so that it fits. So follow uh, this sequence of menu items to fix it. Okay, so uh, even if you have not finished the installation, please listen up here and you may do it later. So this is assignment 1. So let me uh, start again from here. After installing and connecting, go to assignment 1 and this says install PostgreSQL PG. We have already done that. Now you can use this uh, ddl.sql uh, script to create the university schema and then this script to load data. So when you, um, you can save the link as and then load it or you can open it in new window with gedit. Well, I am using windows but you would be using gedit.
and after that there are a few SQL queries here which you can try to make sure everything is working properly. Now how do you run these SQL queries in PG admin there is a small icon which says SQL so you have to click on that to open an SQL uh, window and you can uh, run these from within you can run all of this from within the SQL window of PG admin. So once you are able to connect to the database using PG admin please start on this and after checking that everything is okay there are a bunch of exercises in uh, today's lab the first set of exercises there are seven SQL queries which you have to write and then there is one more which you can do offline you do not have to do here uh, if you get time today you can do it otherwise you can do it later which is one more schema which is a railway schema along with data for it and then a bunch of queries on it okay so this is for later I do not expect you to do it today. Okay, if anyone is having uh, problems opening DDL.SQL please raise your hand how many of you are having problems opening it for some reason uh, it is not finding uh, it claims it cannot download it I do not know quite why but you can save the file locally and then open it. So say if you are not able to open it directly save yeah save the file and then uh, double in the downloads window if you double click on it it works I have no idea why this is but yeah save the file and then open it you can open it from the Firefox downloads window. Why yeah. we use a post SQL instead of MySQL? Anything. We just want uniformity here. We want everyone to. MySQL be is open. Yeah. Uh, the only uh, the main reason for PostgreSQL over MySQL. No, not that. Uh, MySQL's uh, support for SQL standard is weaker. It till some time back it didn't even do joins properly. Now it does all the basic stuff, but. Um, PostgreSQL supports a much larger subset of SQL than MySQL. So, for the purpose of a course like this, where we are using standard SQL, it is better to stick to PostgreSQL, it is closer to the standard.
Yeah, exactly. Uh, this is exactly. No, no, no. This is exactly the reason we followed the schema. What you are saying is exactly right. Um, it would have complicated queries. Uh, railway department is optional. University is the one which uh, there are two assignments. Assignment one. Uh, let me show it on the screen here. Okay, so this is assignment one, which you have all uh, done. I, uh, at least you are working on. You would have already run these queries and made sure they work. And then you are supposed to write all these queries. So these I would like you to do by uh, if you have finished it uh, here, great. But quite likely you won't be able to finish all of this, so you can work on it offline. The second thing in this same assignment is another railway schema. Um, you may find it useful to get the DDL and set it up so you can work on it offline. Um, but you can do this at lower priority. These are this is just one more schema for more exercise. So if you don't get time to do this, it's okay. We are not terribly bothered. What we would like you to do though more importantly um, is also assignment 2 which was also scheduled for today. Now we know that there is too much here to do in the lab. The idea is that each of these assignments in the eventual thing will be a 3 hour lab. We have squeezed it into 2 of these into uh, one 3 hour lab. So we do not expect you to finish all of this here. but the idea is that it will be a three hour assignment in December and we are giving it to you now so that you uh, know what is in there. So the assignment two is um, using aggregation and uh, primarily on aggregate queries which we have covered today. So here is a bunch of queries also on the university schema. and. Another bunch of queries which again I do not expect you to do here. If you have time you can try it out or you can go back to your institution and try this out. Both the railway queries and this you can do after you go back. I am perfectly fine with that. But the first part I would like you to try um, offline tonight to make sure everything is okay. If you have uh, problems with any of these queries we will give you the solution but we can also discuss it. We will give you the solutions tomorrow. We have all the solutions. Has it been given already? Where? Is it public? Oh, okay. <laughs> You're not supposed. <laughs> they were supposed to be made visible later. I do not know how this happened. <laughs> I have no idea why it is visible. <laughs> okay, anyway, uh, please do not read it. <laughs> please give it a good try before you. <laughs> it is hidden, but I think everybody, how did that happen? <laughs> yeah, I'm not even able to see the roles. What is going on? Uh huh. I can see what went wrong. Somebody set up a wrong role uh, in Moodle. You are all non editing teachers. <laughs> it should the same Moodle we are using in the afterwards. That is why we kept it in the same Moodle the other teachers, those who are coming. Now they are set up as a student at that time. Yeah, so this should have happened uh, later. Yeah. Now we are the student. Yeah. Yes. We don't have the second level of Yeah. Okay, there were questions about uh, submitting the assignments. Uh, so uh, you can upload the assignments uh, whenever you are done with it. So 
tomorrow morning uh, you, you could work on it uh, today and then save the uh, queries in a file and then upload the file tomorrow morning when you come in that is probably the simplest thing. Assignment 1 and 2 both. Uh, again the second part of the assignment you do not have to do the railway thing and the extra part for the assignment 2 both of those are optional if you have time and are able to do it great otherwise do not bother uh, do it after you go back. But the first part I would like all of you to do. It.